Hey guys, in this episode I'm going to show you how to make really cool portrait photos in Lightroom using Dodge and Burn. Hey guys, welcome to Kelvin Designs. My name is Kelvin and I design and I guess that's why it's called Kelvin Designs. In this episode I'm going to show you how to make really cool portrait photos in Lightroom using Dodge and Burn. This is really simple stuff. It only takes you a few minutes and it'll teach you how to take a photo like this and turn it into something like this. Pretty cool. So uh, if you want to follow along all my tutorials as they come out, subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking right here. And if you want the raw file to this tutorial and all my other tutorials, click right here and uh, you subscribe to my uh, site and newsletter and you get a bunch of free stuff, Photoshop brushes and raw files and some all the files you need to follow along these tutorials. So once you're signed up, and you uh, downloaded the uh, uh, files, it'll come down in this folder like this, which you'll unzip. Now, I've, I've already imported it into Lightroom, and it looks something like this. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and make a, a, a virtual copy here, and create virtual copy, okay? All right, so now I can safely do it here without, uh, so I can see the before and after, which I like, and have it as, as a separate file. So uh, a, f a few things uh, to start off. The uh, original photo was a little too yellow, too saturated in some ways. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tone down the temperature here just a notch, not too much, something like this. Uh, the tint I'm gonna actually leave, and I do want to bring down some of the highlights and open some of the shadows. Now don't go don't go too far on this. A little more than this, and a little far. Don't go hundred hundred. It'll give you that uh, super HDR look, which not really what I'm looking for in this one. All right, something like this. I do want a little bit of clarity. Uh, don't go too far on it either. And here's the real trick. The skin tones, which are too red, too blotchy, just tone down the vibrance. Tone it down to about minus 30. Now, it looks a little gray right now, but don't worry with a little dodge and burn and some of the other tricks that we're gonna do, it'll, it'll clear right up. Okay, so um, some, of the, some of the first things I'm going to do is I want to actually darken around his face and enlighten some of the places like under his eyes, around uh, here at the forehead, um, maybe around his mouth, get more attention on the eyes, okay? So I'm gonna start by using the, uh, the brush tool, just right here, just click on that. Everything is at zero. So the first thing I wanna do is actually darken. So I'm gonna just take my exposure down and up. I'm gonna exaggerate this so I can really see what I'm doing. And I'm using the scroll wheel to shrink the size of the brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and brush around here. Okay, something like that. Now I have density 51, flow 100. You can kind of tweak that to make it stronger or however you feel it. I'm trying to really close up his face. So I'm, I'm essentially burning. Uh, this is the uh, the same thing as burning. And I'm, I'm actually going to bring it all the way around so that I'm really kind of closing in this, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a new brush and I'm gonna put it down here. So wherever you first do your first brush pot, that's where that spot's gonna be, okay? And I'm gonna actually go and, and I'm gonna, I'm trying to darken his whole chest so that his face kind of stands out and I want it pretty well defined. So I'm using a pretty small brush near his chin so that I can accentuate his jawline. If, um, if I darken it down here, his jawline's gonna look even sharper. He already has a very defined jawline, but so let's, let's exaggerate this a little bit and, and darken it even further. Really, really exaggerate that. I can take my highlights and kind of darken that as well. So I'm like, not too much, but something like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a, s a little bit of a s s soft. I'm adding some around here just so that that transitions a little easier. Something like this. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, and uh, if I roll over this, it's gonna show me exactly where that mask is. I'm a little bit on his chin here, so I'm gonna go ahead and hold down the Alt key, which becomes the negative. So I'm basically taking out from that uh, burning that I just did. All right, so. And I'm basically trying to redefine his jawline, which is pretty simple in this case. Okay, cool. So, uh, so far, before, after, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and make a new one, and 
I'm going to, instead of darken, I'm going to lighten. Now again, I'm exaggerating this and I'm going to have to reduce this um, uh, in, in, a, in a moment. And we can take our density down a notch, okay? I'm gonna go here, here. I'm just gonna lighten up the center of his forehead a little bit. Just a little bit on his nose, a little bit under his eyes. Put a little more attention here. A little bit on his eyes. We'll deal with the eyes individually in a moment. Maybe tip right here, a little above his mouth. Something like this. Maybe a touch on his mouth. I just, there was a little dark, there was a kind of a dark cast right there which I'm trying to get rid of. And possibly, well actually I'm gonna do this as another brush. Let's go ahead and make a new brush. And same settings. I'm gonna head, I'm gonna go ahead and try to lighten up the bottom of his jaw. Once again, I'm trying to define that really strong jawline. Now this is a little too strong. So I'm just gonna tone it down a bit. But we're starting to look, it's starting to look kind of cool. Maybe a little bit down here. There we go, something like that. I don't want to make it too, it's a little too strong right now, so I'm gonna bring this down maybe half a step, something like that. Okay, now let's take care of his eyes. Let's make another new one. And for this, um, we should we should probably zoom in at 100%. So that's the one, one to one. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and just brush. Now I'm gonna need a stronger density here. I'm gonna go ahead and brush. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna exaggerate this all the way up to four, just so that I can see when I'm brushing more easily. I could, um, I could just on the show edit pins, I could do, um, well, these are the actual edit pins. I could do show selected mask overlay. So now I can actually see it in red so I don't have to crank up the exposure like this. But I'm not a big fan of seeing the mask and I like to just be able to change the exposure. If, the, if, if your settings are exactly as you want them and you don't want to change it, you can click on that. All right, something like this. Spacebar gives you the hand so you can move around in your photo and just select the inside of his eyes. Okay, something like this. Okay, let's get rid of, all right, so I'm, I'm bleeding a little over here, so I'm gonna take the minus tool and just kind of take the edge and clean it up. And here I'm fine, actually, oh, a little bit over here. Okay, okay, so get rid of this and I can go back to fill or to fit. Now obviously it looks really creepy and weird because I have this at really strong. And this little dot is actually in the way, so let's do auto, which means that it'll only show up when my cursor is into the canvas. So when I'm over here, it won't show up. All right, much too strong. Now there's a couple things going on. I want to definitely lighten his eyes. Uh, those highlights in the, on, the, on the sides are too strong, so I'm gonna bring those down and I'm gonna open up his shadows. Okay, what I want is the dark areas to be lighter, not so much the light. The light areas can be lighter, but not too much. All right, bring this overall exposure down a bit, and I'm going to desaturate a bit. The reason I'm desaturating, even though he has kind of green eyes, I wanna kind of give it a gray look, and I really wanna get rid of that red in his eye. So, saturation down, okay? 50 is actually kind of strong, he did kind of halfway in between there. He still has the green, gray look, and that red is kind of gone, so that's pretty good. All right, another thing I'm gonna do is I actually want the area around his eyes to be um, lit up. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a new brush once again. And this time, just do this here and here. Now, again, it's much too strong. Let's go down to about 0.3 or 0.4 and maybe make a bigger right in between there. That's not too bad. Let's look so far before, after. Now, so I've basically artificially made these lights as if there was um, in post changing where the light direction is, which is pretty cool. This is maybe a little strong, so I might I might just bring it out a little bit. It looks a little artificial, so I want to keep that kind of natural. Another thing is this, the lights that are coming here and here are obviously stronger than the ones on these sides. So I'm going to go ahead and clean that up. Go back uh, one to one and I'm going to make a new brush, much smaller this time. And actually just go in here and fill this in. 
right now it looks weird, but give me a second. So I'm lightening this. Okay. And now I'm going to come out negatives at alt and I'm going to just in a gradient get rid of this area. That way it's sort of a gradient. I'm accentuating that edge, which is what I want. Bring this down a little bit. And again, desaturate. I want to get rid of that red. I want it to be as neutral as possible, not too gray. Um, and I can maybe open up the shadows a little bit to get rid of that darker sort of area. And that should be pretty good. Let's try maybe a tiny bit lighter. Let's take a look. Okay, that's pretty cool. Maybe all this. So we can tone things down, and that's kind of a uh, however you see it. Uh, there's another. So now that I've kind of gotten certain aspects of his face to really come out, there's another cool trick that I do. So this, I'm going to go into the radial filters at this point, and the whole idea of dodge and burn is to complexify the light. So to do that, I'm going to create a um, a source here that I'm going to actually darken a little bit, not too much, something like this, and I'm going to rotate a bit. A little bit wider and certainly taller. Okay, I'm actually going to cheat and make it even taller like this. Bring it back down. And I'm basically focusing the attention right around here. Okay, make it maybe a little bigger. And let's go ahead and darken it even further like this. But I'm going to feather this mask a little bit more so it doesn't look so abrupt and less uh, obvious. Okay, maybe now it's a little too strong, something like this. Okay. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is duplicate this, bring it over here, something like this, and I'm actually going to do the opposite. Invert the mask and lighten. So this time, it's going to be a little bit sharper. See, if I were to no feather, this is exactly where my mask is. And I want it to be a hell of a lot smaller Bring it like this, something like this, and now I can feather it again. Okay, don't really want it above his face. I really want it to look like there is some interesting lighting, complex, complexifying the light. I'm going to bring it maybe a little here. This one's smaller. Let's feather that even further. Bring it over here. This one's too strong. Bring it down a notch. Something like this, this one, a little smaller, something like this. All right. Okay, so I've added some interesting light. Um, we can go in here and actually try to complexify it even further. Uh, so here I'm darkening it, maybe a little too, too much. I'm going to kind of tone that down. Here's my other light, kind of maybe tone this down a little bit. And here's my other light. Now this, this other light, maybe it's a little too strong. So let's just tone this down a bit as well. Like this, that's kind of cool. You can, I've, I've done this before where I like to duplicate it and I just kind of go a little, whoops, undo that. Click this, rotate this, put it kind of around his eyes. The whole, the whole idea is the more light sources uh, in the right areas, the more interesting it gets. When it's totally flat, it's really boring. Um, so this is kind of interesting. Uh, you've seen this in some Hollywood photo, um, films. They, they do this kind of lighting. It's pretty cool. Um, bring this out a little bit. And this is darkening. darkening. I feel like his hair is a little dark. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make a new one right here. Invert the mask. I don't want to go too crazy on this, but I'm going to kind of make this bigger, feather it out, just so it's like a little bit of a spot right here, and then tone it down. Okay, and I'm going to duplicate this, and put another spot kind of on his forehead, and a lot rounder and smaller, something like this. All right, just so that it's not, he was, he seemed a little too dark, in my opinion. All right, so let's see, let's see this before and after. So this is how it was, 
this is how we ended up. And as you saw, it was so simple. It was just, I'm playing around with the light. And it's not like this was the right way or the only way to do it. Um, this is a way to do it. I'm getting the attention really on the focus on his eye and the skin tones uh, more interesting. I would say that the light is a little too light here, so I would tone it down. Uh, I think I did that the first time I did this. So something like this, a little bit down, and then this one. A little bit down, something like that. It's a little bit better. Anyway, the eyes really uh, come out, and uh, yeah, so there you go. Well, I hope you like this episode, and if you do, uh, I'd really appreciate it if you shared it and like it, and leave a comment on uh, below if you want any other videos or tutorials that I can help you with. And I will see you in the next episode.